Hi, everybody. How's it going? Um, yeah, Brody, we are here just a little bit early. I am just excited to play Platinum today. I knew I had some time here on my Saturday, and I was gonna go at one, but I'm starting a little early because, you know, I'm just, uh, just a little rascal. Mm. If you recall, last episode, we defeated Cyrus for the first time. And I'll show you our squad here as it stands. We've got Hot To Go, the Croagunk. Um, we've got Autumn, the Grodel. We've got Breakfast, the Togetic. We've got Pikachu, the Vaporeon, who we're about to teach Surf to. We have Skitter, the Pachirisu. And we have Karen, the Houndoom. Um, so let's do that right now. Um, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Um, we had a really kind of chill morning. We went uh, to run some errands. My wife made me a little coffee, which I'm excited about. Uh, I'm just sipping it real nice and slow, because sometimes when I have too much caffeine, I'm just uh, not feeling well, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. Um, <laughs> beat up the old defenseless man. <laughs> um, let's see. Pikachu wants to learn Surf. Um, and no, this is not a surfing Pikachu. This is just our friend Vaporeon. We're gonna get rid of Sand Attack. There we go. Finally, our Vaporeon has a water move. Um, love to see it. Um, so here's Cynthia. She was just uh, saying, oh, were the ruins fun to explore? She's telling us about the library in Canelave City. Um, so yes, um, that is a place that we have not been able to go to yet, um, because we needed Surf. And now that we have Surf, we're going to be able to go there. It is one of my favorite cities in the entire region. I love Candlelave City in the Generation 4 games. I think it's so cool. So I'm very excited to go there today. Um, all right. But first, there's a few things we need to do. I believe Pachirisu has an item, am I correct? Yes. Got a nice free super potion. All right. So, we are finally able to get our final team member for the squad. But to do that, we have to go to Floroma Town. And I will show you why. Um... I realize I don't remember the exact spot that we need to go. Um, not there. Um, yes. Let's just start right here. Um, let me get my repels out. Ah, I'm so excited now. Um, do I have my max repel down here? No, I used that already. There we go. Perfect. So now that we can surf, uh, we can go from this little patch of water. It goes from the Valley Windworks area up through here, um, past where we go toward Eterna Forest. We take this little channel, and it takes us to the Fuego Ironworks. And this is where we are going to be able to find a really good TM. This is where you find the TM for Flamethrower. It is also where you can find some cool electric type Pokemon. All right. Um, I'm gonna save. Oh, not even just electric type Pokemon. There's so many cool Pokemon we can find. First of all, I'm gonna get uh, some of these berries. Um, so let's just keep doing this. So I'm going to run out my repel really quick. There we go. And if you look here, we can kind of hop back down um, to get to like where the entrance to Eterna Forest is. Um, but we, let me see, what do I want to do first? We'll get, hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's try Hot to Go for now. Um... So like I said, there's some cool Pokemon that we can find here outside the Fuego Ironworks, and this is one of them. This is Magnemite. Magnemite 
is going to be the next member of our squad. And I'm very excited about it. Okay, that didn't kill it in one shot, which I'm happy about. Um, I'm pretty sure... Let's try a Sucker Punch. Okay, good. Not very effective. We got some great balls. Let's see. There you have it. Oh, <laughs> we don't need an electric type. We already have Pikachu. That is a great point, Brody. That is a great point. Um, but Brody, do you want to name our Magnemite? This is going on the squad, so uh, you I, I, we get to honor you once again. The faster the units at its sides rotate, the greater the magnetic force they generate. Hmm, interesting, Magnemite. All right, what do we got for Magnemite here, Brody? Um, Magnemite is at level static. Love it. Easy peasy. Um, static. Perfect. So, um, static's gonna go on the squad, and our Magnemite's already at level 28. I believe it evolves into Magneton at level 28, so we are going to be able to get a Magneton very soon. Um, but I wanted to kind of run around here at the Ironworks because I wanted to show you another cool Pokemon that we should be able to find here. And here it is, Magmar. Um, so we're not gonna catch this Magmar because uh, we already have Houndoom on the squad. But if you are playing through, all right, it's just gonna go ahead and kill us maybe. Okay, there we go. Um, so if you are playing through um, Platinum, this is a great spot to catch a new electric type Magnemite. It's a great spot to catch a new fire type Magmar. Um, you can unlock some really cool encounters once you get Surf in this game. Um, we are going to go through the Ironworks, but I actually want to go pick up our new friend Magnemite before we do so. Um, <laughs> yes, I, under I, I get you, Brody. I'm sorry. Uh, have I have yeah I've done all caps for everything. Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's go grab them. Magnemite is of course genderless because it is just a living magnet. Um, Pachirisu, Skitter, we salute you, friend. You've done great work for this team. Great work for this team. Um, so let me go ahead and heal. Um, before we pop up to the Ironworks, I might go ahead and grab another Thunder TM, because that was really useful to have. So let's look at Static. Um, a lonely nature, I don't know if that's good. Um, ideally we would want to increase our special attack, but usually whenever I do playthroughs, I really just like to catch the first one. Um, you know, we already went through the trouble of, um nature chasing when we did our Battle Frontier playthrough, but um, here we have the ability Sturdy. Oh, that is actually great. That is one thing. Okay. Um, yes. I wanted to make sure I found a Magnemite that had the ability Sturdy. I forgot that I was looking for that because the other ability it can have is Magnet Pull, and the reason Sturdy is so good is because Magnemite is so weak to ground type attacks. If you can prevent one hit KO attacks, like let's say you have full HP and you get hit by that earthquake, you can at least live one of them. So that's really useful for a Magnemite. Um, let's see. Oh, you forgive me for Emerald. Thank you. Thank you, Brody. And as you can see, our attack is way worse than our special attack. This is another big thing from the physical special split. Um, and our only electric move is the physical electric move, Spark. So we want to go pick up that special electric move, Thunder. Um, so let's do that. Oops. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, here's Hailstone City. Um, the squad is making plays right now. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, it's not you. Oh, I am boofing this right now. Is it you? I'm almost positive. 
Yes. Um, let's pick up another thunder. Perfect. Um, do I have a focus blast to him already? I don't remember if we already bought one. Um, so we can we can go ahead. And, yes, we do have a focus blast. I'll go ahead and buy um, a hyper beam while we're at it. Just in case we want to put Hyper Beam on somebody. That could be very good for Togekiss um, eventually. But we'll see about that. I don't know what I want that move set to be at all. Um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, you're completely right, Brody. Um, but I want to be a little patient on that. Um, I think we can have some fun with that. Um... But, let's see here. So let's teach our friend Static Thunder, now that we have another one. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Thunder. If anyone ever watched the original Pokemon anime, I always think of when Ash fights Lieutenant Surge. And he has just like a hard, like Jersey accent, and he's like, "Give him a thunderbolt, right, you?" <laughs> I love Lieutenant Surge. Um, I'll get rid of Sonic though. Lock on could be very useful um, because Lock on guarantees the next move to hit, and Thunder is not particularly accurate. Um, let's see. And you know what? While I'm at it. Do we have a rare candy? We do. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to get static the old-fashioned way. I'm going to save those rare candies because I really like using the rare candies when they are, like, optimal. Um, you want to use rare candies when your Pokemon are at a higher level because it takes more experience to evolve them. Or not evolve them, to level them up. So you want to save them for when you're at a higher level so that you're saving experience points. Um, if I pick up 20, that could last us that to the end of the game, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm going for a nice little shop here. We'll get a Hyper Potions. Great. Perf. Okay, so breakfast moveset idea. Um, Air Slash, Ancient Power, Aura Sphere, Grass Knot. I mean, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Um, I would like to get Air Slash, for sure. Um, uh, we are gonna have Fly on it, though. Um, which is a little annoying, because its special attack is better. Um, so we'll see. We'll see about it. Um, there we go. Vaporeon using Surf. Ooh. Ah! 37! Oh, um, this is interesting. This is actually a new Pokemon. I want to point this out. Um, Shellos, which we've seen several times, evolves here into Gastrodon. Gastrodon, I actually learned, is a really interesting Pokemon because if you look at it, it's like a big, like, water slug thing, but it's actually also based on, like, a cow? It has like the little horns, it's like muddy is kind of its thing. It's a water ground type. It's like a water cow slug, which is like, that's what Pokemon's about. You make these weird like amalgam creatures in a way that just like really works, even though it's weird. I love Gastrodon, it's cool. Okay, good, I'm glad we could escape, it would've destroyed us. Um. I actually have no Pokemon that would be able to escape that Gastrodon. But we're gonna surf all the way up this channel. I like this channel. All right, so here we back. Here we are back at the Ironworks. Um, picking up the TM for Flamethrower could really come in handy. Really, I just enjoy this area. Um, and there's a few trainers in here, um, but. Here at the Fuego Ironworks, we see the return of the Team Rocket uh, little warp uh, directional panels here. Um, you'll love to see it. It's such a classic. Um, all right, so I'm going to try to pick up all the items in here. It might take me 
a few tries to make sure I get everything. Um, cause you know, some things kind of get blocked off once you go a certain way. So you kind of have to go around the bend again. Um, once I do this, come on, there we go. And here we can try to evolve our Magnemite into Magneton. Hmm. I got you, Brody. That could be cool. That could be cool. All right, so immediately we don't have a very good matchup. So we're gonna swap out on this matchup. Um, one fly should do the trick. Oh, maybe not. Oh boy, there we go. And for a Machoke, oh man. Breakfast isn't looking too great. I'll go into autumn. I thought we'd be slower, so I went for the Mega Drain. Ah. Dang it, man. I didn't time it right. All right, so now it's hitting us with the Vital Throw. I'm glad we went with the Mega Drain there. Ugh, oh, dang it. I'm gonna have to use some potions in here, gang. Ugh, oh, but now we have Surf. Oh, thank you, Surf. Oh, thank you for existing. You're so good. Surf, you're so good. <laughs> I just must point that out every time. Surf is so good. Um, it is it is interesting, because usually those HM moves are not the best moves. Um, but in the case of Surf, it's just, it's just lovely. All right, so let's... I don't remember if there are actual encounters in here. Or if this is just a plain old warehouse. Ooh, a calcium. That's great. Um, that's actually going to be perfect for our friend Magnemite. Because we want to really boost up that special attack stat. Um, <laughs> could go gambling for Thunderbolt. Yeah. I might, I might stick with that discharge idea. That could be a pretty, that could be a good idea. Um, I'll look into the, the best level to, uh, whatchamacallit, evolve our Magneton, because I won't give it away yet. There's a pretty cool and peculiar method to evolve Magneton into its new Generation 4 evolution. Um, so let's fight this fellow. Hopefully we have a good matchup on him. I don't think we will. I think all of these guys have like fire and fighting types, so Magnemite is not doing well. <laughs> hmm. Another Magnemite, though. Maybe we can mirror match it if I hit it with a thunder. All right, two thunders will do the trick. Yeah, that won't hurt us. We have a pretty decent defense stat. We'll stay in. Yeah, we can eat all these moves. There we go. Another Magnemite. We'll stay in again. It's not very efficient, but we can do it. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Three times in a row. Okay. Our luck runs out. Oh, it has Magnet Pull. Ah, oh, wow. I was just saying how that's not as useful. Um, let's heal Magnemite. As you can tell, Magnemite and Magneton actually have a very low um, HP stat, which is interesting. Uh, okay. Just need one more thunder to hit. We'll be good. There we go. Good work, Static. Almost there now. Um, so I can go down here and I can pick up this suit. Not yet. Pick up this item. Uh, uh, the problem with Magnemite is you have Flash Cannon, Discharge, or Thunderbolt, and that's about it. I mean, those are all really good moves, if I'm being honest. Um, but you're right. It doesn't have a ton of coverage. I'll give you that, Brody. Um, honestly, I just wanted to use Magnemite's new Gen 4 evolution because I've never used it before. Um, let's see. So as you can see, I kind of want to get to the middle part where that furnace is. But if I take that down arrow, it'll take me past where I need to go. So I got to go a different way. So we're going to go up. All right. 
Yes, yeah, so you can get some nice shards in here. Uh, last episode, we discovered where the guy with the shards is. Um, for To get this level, I'm actually just going to give Magnemite the experience share. And we'll put in, like, hot to go. Um, Alright, so I can pick up this item as well. Another green shard. Let's see. That'll send us back. So will that. There we go. Perfect. Huh, not yet. Here's a fire stone, which is great. Um, I was saying how once you get to the Fuego Ironworks, it gives you access to um, Magmar, but it also gives you access to a fire stone in case you want to evolve your Eevee into Flareon. I guess you get a fire stone earlier in the game. But there are other Firestone evolutions, too, that you want to make sure you get. Um, all right, so we're going to go down here. I don't remember which one I need to go, which one I need to do here. So we don't want the bottom one. Do we want the top one? I'm not sure. Let's check it. Uh, yes, we did want the top one. That's great. Um, so we'll fight this guy. Ooh, if I want to use a heart scale, I can get try attack. Ooh, that is a good point, Brody. Maybe we will go for that. Um, once we kind of get closer to the to the Pokemon League, I can really work on our move sets. Um, here, hot to go is not good. We'll go into Pikachu. Oh, use that Surf. I'm gonna be so happy. Oh. Gorgeous. And static grows to level 29. That is excellent. So now that static has leveled up. Oh! When does Magnemite evolve? I thought it was 28. Is it like 30? It's 30. I thought it was 28. Magnemite needs one more, one more level. Might be something evolves at level 28. Um all right, so I'm gonna scooch back in here and grab whatever this is. A rock incense. Um, that can raise the um, power of rock type moves. And let me go right here. And here we are, we can talk to this fellow. Mr. Fuego, here he is. Well, hello, it's not often that I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles, but no one was happy about it. They said the moving floor made them dizzy, but you don't wanna to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. Um, he gives us a star piece for making it to him, which we can sell for a lot of money. But the... Oh, we can trade star pieces for shards as well. So that's actually very cool. Um, but the main attraction here in Fuego Ironworks, if you go here in front of the furnace, this item is the TM for Flamethrower. Um, once you get the Surf HM in Platinum, you can pop in here and grab that Flamethrower TM. It is lovely. <laughs> a Pikachu with no electric type move, sad to see. I'm actually going to hold off on teaching Karen Flamethrower um, because Karen does learn it naturally. Um, it'll, it won't learn it until level 48, but with Fire Blast, we're sitting, we're sitting pretty. Uh, we can get that like more efficient Flamethrower right before the Pokemon League. We're going to be fine. Um, so let's fly. Now we're going to start making our way to Canalave City, which excites me greatly. Wow, I can't believe we've already been live for this long. Um, breakfast can learn Flamethrower Brody, another good point. Togekiss, man, building Togekiss's moveset is going to be really interesting. Because that, it's, uh, it's a real kind of jack-of-all-trades Pokemon. Um, and as long as it's a special attack, it's going to be really useful on Togekiss. And there's a chance that I could just run Fly throughout this whole playthrough just for convenience sake. But then once we get to the Pokemon League, maybe I can teach Togekiss um, Air Slash. That could work. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll just keep it on. But we actually have some fishermen coming up here, so Static is going to be sitting pretty. 
as our lead Pokemon. Let's save. So we just went through that nice little Fuego area. <laughs> You're right. If I mean, if breakfast is a true chef, gonna need to heat up that food. Gonna need to heat up that food with a flamethrower. Um, oh, I got you, Brody. I got you. So let's pop over here. This is just a little area with these two little fishermen. I always found it so annoying that I had to use Surf again to get this item, but then be able to go back and fight the two fishermen. Like, now I have to use Surf again just to fight both of those guys. That just weirdly annoyed me. Um, but here we are. Let's fight them. <laughs> Ah, yes, I was hoping we'd see some Gyarados. It is going to just beg for mercy from our thunder, implying it hits and we don't get knocked out by two Dragon Rages, but let's see. Please hit, thank you. Yeah, that is a one shot every day of the week. Um. It is annoying because we definitely will not survive another Dragon Rage, so we have to switch. Let's just do Autumn. That'll work. Oh, that is one thing in this game. Gyarados learns Ice Fang by level up. Ugh, so annoying. Um, and Gyarados is a physical attacker. Again, this is really coming up. Like... Pokemon's identity really began to take shape um, when they did the physical special split, because here you have Gyarados, and it learns the physical move Ice Fang, which is kind of like Ice Punch, um, but for a Pokemon that bites, and that is a physical move, and Gyarados' physical attack is higher than its special attack. So it can't really use Surf very well, for example, but it can use Waterfall really well, because Waterfall is a physical water move. So interesting. Love it. Um, ooh, who's my favorite team member right now? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Did Static grow to 30? I don't think he did yet. No. Um, my favorite team member is... Hold on, let me look at him. Hmm... You know, I'm a real big fan of Breakfast. Breakfast has been really fun in this playthrough. And like I have said a bunch, I really like Togetic. So let's get this going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bunch of Remoraids. I don't know if it has a great move against Magnemite. It does Remoraid. Ooh, Magnet Bomb. This is very nice. This will give Magnemite a nice Steel-type move. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'll get rid of Lock-On. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What does Magnet Bomb do? Oh, it never misses. I forgot that it never misses. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Lock-On. I, I hate wasting a turn using it anyway. I like to just roll the dice with my Thunders. Um. I mean... It does rival Ziggy, I will say. Um, I just gotta make sure Magnemite does not faint here. And it shouldn't if we're just fighting these Remoraids. Ooh, okay. And now I will take you out because you already have reached your evolution level. Um, oh, hello, Glacial Anubis! Uh... <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Thank you for joining us today. It's good to see you. How are you? Oh no, I forgot. I immediately forgot about Aurora Beam. But there we go. That Mega Drain kind of fixes us right up. And of course, there's a Gyarados. Um, we'll stick in with Autumn. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Um. Let's see here. But, uh, Glacial Anubis, um, do you have a favorite Pokemon game? 
are you just kind of scrolling around uh, Twitch, or do you just really enjoy Platinum, or what's up? Any new p uh, person that pops in, I like to I like to ask them that. But yes, Static is evolving. I feel like I always sing that whenever a Pokemon's evolving. I'm like, this Pokemon's evolving. Um, oh, I love Magneton. I know it's just real simple and it's just three Magnemite put together, but I always found Magneton really um, satisfying. There is a card in the original base set of the TCG Magneton that has a hollow, and I always loved the way that it looked. It's like CG, like old 90s CG, and I don't know why, I always just loved it. Um, um, I'm actually going to pop back to Jubilife. Um, for a second, just because there's a few more trainers there, and I can just heal the squad real quick, because it takes like two seconds to get back there. All right. So let's just pop over here. Hooray. Perfect. Um, you're doing rather well. Ah, your favorite is Diamond. Yes. Um, I also had Diamond. Um, diamond Head, stand up. Um, there's a nice rare candy over here. Um, but yes, I, I tell I tell this story all the time. Um, I was in either like late junior high or early high school when Diamond came out, and I specifically just remember being like obsessed with it, um, and just remember being at school like I I I gotta I gotta go home and play it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Diamond, Diamond, I loved. Um, I think Platinum is better, but, um, you know, to each their own. Oh, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I am, um, ecstatic that it is a Saturday. And I don't know if I've pointed this Pokemon out yet. This is Mantyke. Um, if you played with us in Pokemon Crystal, you might remember Mantine, if Mantine's in Pokemon Crystal. I don't remember. Um... But Mantyke is basically the baby form of Mantine, or Mantine, um, which is lovely. Yes, you are so right. Um, we kind of, uh, we kind of touched on that with Magmar that we saw at the Fuego Ironworks. Um, and there we go, and Static is caught up with our squad. Um, because Magmar is one of those added fire types that they famously had in this game. All right, so that'll help us knock out this Machoke with that recoil damage, so that's great. And we have one more fella here. There we go. Um, I quit school to play a kid's game. It's true. It's true. No, I graduated school. I just waited until after school. Mmm. Here's Cricketune. This is like the regional bug of this game. We saw Cricketot um, earlier on, and uh, this is what it evolves into. It's kind of like a maestro scenario. Its body kind of looks like a violin, and it has like a mustache. It's kind of weird, but I do, I do kind of like it. I used Cricketune a lot in some of my early playthroughs of these games. Um, Magnemite, we are going to use Hot to Go, because we are going to use our fighting moves. <laughs> Oh, I forgot we have Mud Bomb. That should one-shot it, and it does. Must not have Sturdy. So there is, that's it for Guitarist Tony. Um, there might be an item in here. Let's see, in this grass. Nope, nothing. So let's pick up these berries. Um, you know, uh, Glacial, we... Uh, I used Ponyta, I think, in my first ever playthrough of Diamond. It was either my first ever playthrough that I used a Ponyta, or it was like the second one. I specifically remember using a Golem, and I taught my Golem Fire Blast, which was kind of dumb, just because it has no special attack to speak of. Um, but here we go. Once we go through, ah, we have this guy to talk to first. Um, long time no see. I think this is Dawn's dad. Yeah, Dawn's dad. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex. Perfect. 
Kerchunk, kerchunk. So he says it can display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, so that's really, really cool. Um, we have already talked a little bit about gender differences. We saw uh, Pikachu. But uh, he's also telling us that he's concerned about Team Galactic too. Team Galactic, they're really starting to not, uh, not be too great. Everyone's starting to get a little more worried about them. But Brody, give me, uh, give me the Pokemon you want me to draw, and I will draw it. Let's see, do I still have my sheet here? And I have to draw it from memory. Oh, I'm just looking at some of my other creations here, and they are, they are bad. Turtwig is probably my best one, I would say. Oh, breakfast, for sure. I'll draw Togetic. Um, Togetic has kind of like, kind of like this weird little head, weird little head body scenario. We have our little wings here. I don't remember what... And then, is there kind of like... Kind of like little ears on Togetic? I don't really remember. Um, All right. This isn't like horrendous, I don't think. That's a Togetic, right? Kind of. What what is what does the eye head scenario look like? Um Oh, it's got the three. Oh, I forgot about kind of like the crown. Oh, and its eyes are real small. Okay. That's not that bad. Hold on, let me fix it a little. Um Got the three. There we go. Oh, that looks so much better. Let me just give you like the little, oh, the little eyes. Okay. <laughs> He's not that bad. There we go. I fixed him a little bit. <laughs> I mean, that's not amazing, but it's from memory. I'm doing my best here. Um, all right, so once we pop through this little uh, checkpoint here, we go to my favorite city in Sinnoh. Listen to this music. Gorgeous music. We have the, the harbor running right through the town. You have kind of like this, uh, very distinct um, stone in the road. Oh, this very distinct bridge that runs through the middle of the town. We don't want to cross it yet, but I love Cantalave City. Mmm, vibes out the waz. Um, okay. Um, oh, we'll get breakfast the stone. We're gonna go to Iron Island. But let me do this first. All right, I don't know what we're gonna begin with here. Let's open with Karen, because Karen can kind of, you know, swing her way out of a out of a out of a pickle. Mm. All right. Oh, Glacial Anubis, I ask this all the time too. Was there ever a time where you kind of like fell out with the series? For me, toward like the end of high school when Black and White came out, that's when I kind of just start, I decided I was maybe gonna be too cool for school and never play Pokemon again, but I just like it. <laughs> I just love it too much. Um, so Black and White, I'm always a little bit, uh, it's one of my least favorite gens just because um, I kind of fell out of love with it a little bit. I forgot if I saved already, so I'm just going to save again. 
So here, this is a famous battle. This is a famous battle once you get to the middle of the bridge here in Canelave City. Your rival kind of pops out of nowhere and he is going to battle you. And this is the battle where his starter is fully evolved. So this is kind of one of the iconic rival battles in my mind. This, uh, the bridge battle in Canelave City. I really, really love it. And here you can see that his Staravia has evolved into Star Raptor. Star Raptor is awesome. Star Raptor listens to Fallout Boy and it is just a delightful, delightful, angry bird. Um, let's see. After Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, oh, didn't realize black and white were a thing until X and Y. Oh, very cool. So we're kind of about uh, kind of about the same the same time. As you can see, we're a little bit underleveled. Um, we're actually not in a very good spot here at all. Um, let's see if we can battle our way out of this. Because this Star Raptor is probably going to hit us with a new move in Generation 4. Oh, not, not quite, actually. That surprises me. Um, Star Raptor actually... Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over. I don't care. Ah! Oh, wait, no. I did it wrong. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. So that was the wrong lead. Um, so we're going to lead with static. <laughs> and here he is again. Um, so... Star Raptor has access to a new move. It is called Close Combat. It is a 120 base power fighting move, which is cool that the regional bird Pokemon gets access to a really powerful fighting move. Um, and I thought it was going to unleash it upon our Houndoom, so that's why I swapped out. And then we got hit with the, with the critical hit takedown. I'm like, that's just stupid. Um... Just dumb. You're right, Glacial. You are so right. All right, let's make sure we hit this thing. And we don't. Um, oh, boy. Now we got double team. Come on, now. All right, can I just hit this thing? There we go. This should take it out. I do have Magnet Bomb, just in case it doesn't. Perfect. Um... Uh, static already paying dividends, baby. Let's see. Infernape. So this is going to be the evolved form of Monferno. And we are going to have Pikachu out for this. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to show this off. Ooh, and it has the stars coming out. People always like to compare Infernape to, like, Goku. It's just like a fighting monkey thing. Infernape's great. It's my least favorite of the Sinnoh starters, but I still really like it. The Sinnoh starters are very strong on the whole. Um, oh, here's Brick Break. Oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon made you like Pokemon you typically wouldn't care about. I have not really played those games, honestly. Um, I've played part of the original one. I think I played the original um, Red Rescue Team. Let me hit a quick attack. Will this kill it? Oh, he withdraws Infernape for Roserade. We've seen Roserade. Um, let's see. Our team is underleveled, Brody. You're so right. Um, but we're going to do our best here. I'm going to swap into Karen. See if I can get a one-shot on this Roserade. All right. Toxic Spikes could not be our friend, but we'll see. Hmm. Get the one shot, of course. Um, but yeah, Mystery Dungeon is cool. I was interested in maybe playing Mystery Dungeon D uh, DX for the Switch. Um, okay, Floatzel is fine. We do have to deal with the Toxic Spikes. All right, so in that case, I will swap to our friend Static because Static is not going to be affected by Poison as a Steel-type. 
beautiful art style on the new one you're saying or on the old one because I, I liked the I thought the old one had a lot of charm as well like what you're saying um, let's see there we go let's do it this should one shot very powerful thunder perfect both really yeah no totally yeah I remember seeing the new art style on the new mystery dungeon and it looked really cool um, one game that I will tell everyone about that will listen is, um, excuse me, New Pokemon Snap. I think New Pokemon Snap is sick. It's so good. It looks so good. Oh, we'll definitely have to play that on the channel at some point. Um, ah, yes, and we have a Poison type here. So he, or she rather, was also unaffected by the Toxic Spikes. Ooh, can we get Infernape with a Sucker Punch? It's not very effective, but it still knocks it out. Yes. Nice. Mm. Yes, thank you for the new snap uh, approval. I appreciate that. And, oh, we have Heracross here. Um, I love that your rival gets Honey Tree Pokemon. I think that's really, really cool. Oh, you thought new Pokemon Snap was boring? Oh no, I love new Pokemon Snap. Oh, new Pokemon Snap is great. Um, there's just so many different things you can do. I want to do another playthrough of it, because I know that there was a DLC that I didn't really play much of, and I kind of want to start over. I love, like, kind of like the final levels of that game were a real surprise to me. Um, it was so cool. And I love the original Snap so much. Um, and I have been wanting them to make a new one forever, forever. I've been wanting them to make a new one. It was a no-brainer to me, but they finally did. Um, yeah, no, you're right. And of course, we got that quad-effective fly on Heracross there. Mmm. Perfection. Alright, so that went way better. That actually went really well. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's gonna take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guess right, it's gonna be me. Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train at Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. I think that is a good idea, GCG. I think we're gonna do that. Um... <laughs> It's just like, take pictures, take pictures, take pictures. Oh, cool, take pictures. You know, Brody, I can totally understand that that would not be someone's thing. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that is all you're doing. All you're doing is taking pictures. But uh, I think that can still be pretty cool, pretty relaxing. And you can discover some cool new things. I would give it another shot if I were you. You don't have to, of course. Um, this is the Canelave Library that Cynthia was talking about. And look at this little mini fountain next to the library. Oh, we sat by the fountain in Jubilife. Let's sit by it here. Mm. Wow. This is a relaxing fountain. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Um, so this is the gym. We probably won't get to the gym today. Um, we need to take this boat because this boat is going to take us to Iron Island like our uh, rival told us. We can hop on here. Oh, and the little bridge there in the middle of town. It's a draw bridge. It's going to raise up so we can leave. Oh, I love it. It's so charming. Candlelight City is so delightful. And here we are at Iron Island. And I love, look at this. When you go up, you can get like some of the glare of the sun there in the top left. That's kind of what I see it as. That's just a nice little detail to me. Oh, a star piece, lovely. Um, if we pop in here. Okay, there's no one in here. I thought there was somebody in here. But, here is a fellow, his name is Riley, and he is a trainer. It's a bit odd that I would be training here. It's nice to meet another trainer. Here's a gift, wow. 
So Riley just gives you the HM for strength, so you definitely don't miss it. Um, and Riley is a guy that is hanging out in Iron Island, and we are going to team up with him uh, for double battle time, much like we did with Mira and Cheryl. Um, oh my gosh, Glacial Anubis, thank you for being here with us today. You have a great dinner, and you have a great day. I appreciate you a lot. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one, bud. Um, okay. I'm gonna put Grodel in the front, because Grodel can probably take care of some of these, um, ground types. Um, but here, we can maybe go a little bit longer today, folks, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, here is Iron Island. Um, there's a lot of items to kind of pick up in here. Yeah, we're a little under-leveled for our repels, but we should be able to one-shot a lot of these Pokemon. Oops. Um, it's actually really nice. I need to take the experience there off static. I kind of forgot it was still on there. No wonder he's a higher level. Um, this is going to be a really good opportunity to train some of our Pokemon, um, because Riley, like the other double battle people, will, um, whatchamacallit, heal the squad in between battles. Um, oh, you lost your snap copy. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't buy another copy either if I were you. Will this do more, seeing as it's special? It will. It will one-shot. It's perfect. I don't remember when Grodel evolves. Ooh, Leech Seed. Leech Seed is good. Ah, but so is Curse. Hmm. We could get rid of Bite. Oh, this is tough. I like to have a special move. Leech Seed can just be so great. I just so rarely use Curse. I'm probably not going to use it. Um, there we go. Really like Leech Seed, yes. So not only do we learn Leech Seed at level 32, at level 32, our Grodel also evolves into my favorite starter in this generation. And you're gonna see. Oh. Torterra. Torterra is so cool. It's so cool. There's a tree growing on its back. Oh. It's the best. I love it. And it learns Earthquake. Oh, what a level 32 is. Gosh. Um, and the reason it learns Earthquake is that Torterra is a grass and ground type. Um, so now this might all be a moot point. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of Bite. We don't really need Bite. Because we have some dark coverage on the squad already. Yeah, I know they both heal, Brody, but Leech Seed is really good, like, let's say we don't have a matchup on something, and we just want to get something effective to kind of get it going, Leech Seed can just work really well for that. Um, so that is great for Torterra. We love to see that. Um, I love Torterra very much. Um, it actually gets a really nice feature in the Detective Pikachu movie, if you can believe it. Um, let's try that. Oh boy, that's a death. Gosh dang it. I got a bit cocky there. There we go, okay. So now I, I gotta heal you now, because Riley's, Riley's not here to help us out. Um. We'll use Pikachu, because I think that will do the repels. Oh, you were saying get rid of Mega Drain? Yeah, again, I like having it. I, I like having... I got kind of this criticism in the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the Battle Frontier in Emerald, where I wanted to keep, like, one special move on a physical attacker... I just like having the versatility. Like, for example, like Torterra going against a Golem, it's nice to have that special move because Golem has really weak special defense. And even though um, Torterra still has that high attack, has um, um, higher attack, 
it's still nice to have like the special move to pivot to against a Pokemon that has high defense, like a Golem. So that's kind of my thought process there, but you know, overall it's probably not gonna matter too much. Um, Cause they're all good moves. You can't go too wrong with it. <laughs> oh, Raichu. We're gonna get a nice chance to show off our new Torterra's Earthquake. There we go. You'll love to see it. That's a one shot every time, baby. Um, all right, so, ugh, gosh dang it, guys. Okay, good. Let me get Vaporeon back here. So we can pick up this item, a revive, great. Um, that little elevator down there, we don't wanna go there quite yet because there are some items here in Iron Island on the left side of the entrance that we wanna get as well. There's kind of a lot of areas um, before we get to the Riley area. Um, so now let's get hot to go up there. So we have a couple more Pokemon to evolve. We can evolve Magneton, Togetic, and Croagunk. But after that, we will have the squad. The squad fully evolved. I can't believe it. We were finally able to complete it today, which is great. Um... I mean, you know, Autumn fell off after Gym 1 because he hasn't done anything since then. I mean, Autumn's been fine. Um, nothing too crazy, but hasn't been, like, terrible or anything. It's always useful to have the, uh, those, whatchamacallit, uh, grass moves. Oh, I'm so glad that missed. Um, because after a screech, we would be hurting. Okay. Float Soul. Okay, we have that screech going, though. Ah, Here's another chance for Autumn to shine. And a Mega Drain. And there we go. Perfect. Lovely. So let's pick up these items. It is annoying that I have to keep swapping there, but what can you do? Yeah, this is a pretty small little room. Ooh. This is an item called the Protector. The Protector evolves a certain Pokemon in this game into a new evolution for Generation 4, and it is one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, we will see it later in our, play in our playthrough, and I will point it out to you then. Um, but here's the Yellow Shard. Yeah, you know, it is really interesting, Brody. A lot of... Um, a lot of Pokemon fall off at some point. Um, like, we played Pokemon Emerald with, uh, whatchamacallit, Trico, for example. And Trico does really fall off um, at some point in the middle of that game. Um, once it evolves into Sceptile and learns um, Leaf Blade, it becomes much more useful again. But in the mid-game, it's, it's tough. It is tough sledding with a Grovile in Emerald. All right, so we got more trainers here. Let's take care of some of these fools. Perfect. <laughs> Worker Noel. Um, luckily, Hot to Go has a nice ground option to take care of a Magnemite. Lovely. Um, we'll stay in. Yeah. That, uh, mud bomb is never the most accurate move in the world, but we're still, we're still sitting pretty. Picked up a level there. Um, this guy might have a steel type. Um, so that'll be good for Houndoom. Oh, wow, still. All right. Ugh. Oh, and now I can't escape. Gosh dang it. The Golbat trapped me, man. Holy crap. Okay, I'm glad I have Quick Attack. Quick Attack always comes in handy. 
All right, so if I'm not going to be able to escape anyway, I might as well just have Karen in the front. Um, <laughs> yes, you have to drag and kick your feet with Trico. You are so right. Um, okay. Because Karen is one of the fastest... Oh my gosh! Okay, I was about to say, Karen is one of the fastest Pokemon on our team, and we still can't escape that Golbat. Um, there we go. Let's fight this guy. <laughs> Luckily, once we do get to Riley in here, um, he's going to be able to heal our squad anyway. I thought he had a Steel-type. Great. Should be able to one-shot this bad boy, implying we hit, and we do. Um, Steelix does have a good counter against fire types because it's also part ground. Does it have sturdy? It does not. That's great. Love to see that. Um, all right, and of course there's some more items in here. Yes, the TM for Iron Tail. Iron Island, a perfect place for it. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm going to try to knock this one out, too, just for a little experience. Perfect. That should take care in 32. Lovely. Ah, and here's Fire Fang. I will forget Beat Up because it's terrible. I want it to be good, but it's I hate it. So we're getting rid of Beat Up. And again, Fire Fang is not great for Karen because it is not a special attack, and Karen likes to use that special attack. Um... But still, still pretty good. A good mid-tier fire move that we can make use of. I'm pretty sure there's an item right here. Yes. Oops, I just stepped on it. A star piece, lovely. Um, yeah, I know. Um, onyx. We can escape from an onyx. Oh, I am losing track of myself here. There we go. Gotta pick up an elixir, love that. I feel like, is there an item in this rock? Or maybe over here? Let's see. I feel like there might be. Nope, nothing over here. All right, so we have cleared out the Iron Island rooms um, before Riley. We'll use a repel just in case. Um, yes, we'll keep Karen in front. That's fine. So, once we go down here, we can talk to our friend Riley, who we saw at the beginning of Iron Island. Um, we are going to team up. He says the Pokemon are restless. So we are going to team up with Riley, and we are going to get out of here in Iron Island. There are a lot of double battles here, and this is a great place to grind in kind of like the mid-game of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. It is really, really helpful to kind of get your team those next couple levels to take you into the later game. Iron Island with Riley is a great place to level up. Um, so, you know what, folks? This is actually going to be a really good stopping point for us today. Um, I, I will love to start with our adventure with Riley here in the next episode. Um because I don't really want to shortchange him right now. But thank you so much. Uh, Glacial Anubis, thank you for being here with, with us today. I always love seeing a new person stop in. Um, Brody, thank you as always. Um, it, I've loved having you here as well. Um, what else do I have? I'll keep plugging this. Um, I am planning to do something special for when we get 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you watch these streams on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so we can do that. Um, we're also kind of inching closer to 100 Twitch followers as well. I would like, I would like for that to happen. Um, uh, following is, of course, free. Um, so always feel free to follow on Twitch if you like. Um, <laughs> next time on Silver Ball Z, Tekken 2. You are so right, Brody. Um, our Monday stream should be Tekken 2, but we'll be back to Platinum um, next week as well. Um, Platinum is kind of the main game we're playing, but we're playing Tekken 2 as well. Anyway, all that said, 
Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. I know I will. And I will see you all next time. Peace, kids.